Hello everyone, welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We are going to read the book Waiting for the Bibliobura. This is by Monica Brown and the illustrations are by John Parra. Looking at the cover of the book, we see a girl and we see some donkeys carrying some books. What could this be about? Let's dive in. On a hill behind a tree, there is a house. In the house, there is a bed, and on the bed, there is a little girl named Anna. Fast asleep, dreaming about the world outside and beyond the hill. It's a very cute little house. When Anna wakes up to the roosters, kew, 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 Poppy is already at work on the farm, and Mommy is busy in the garden. Anna bathes her little brother and feeds the goats and collects the sh eggs to sell at the market. You see, it looks like they're growing some corn, some cabbage. After breakfast, Anna and her mother walk down the hill. Anna closes her eyes against the sun and wishes she was back in the cool house with her Libra, her book. Anna has read her book, her only book, so many times she knows it by heart. The book was a gift from her teacher for working so hard on her reading and writing. But last fall, her teacher moved away and now there is no one to teach Anna and the other children in her village. So at night, on her bed, in the house, on the hill, Anna makes up her own cuentos and tells the stories to her little brother to help him fall asleep. She tells him stories about make-believe creatures that live in the forest and the mountains and the sea. She wishes for new stories to read, but her teacher with the books has gone. So she has to make up her own stories, right? Look at those interesting creatures in her stories. Mm. Now, one morning, Anna wakes up to the sound of tack a tack click clock and a loud eeyah, eeyah. This is the sound of a donkey. When Anna looks down the hill below her, she sees a man with a sign that reads Biblioburrow. With the man, there are two burrows. Donkeys. What are they carrying? <gasps> Libros. Books! Anna runs down the hill to the man with the sign and the burrows and the books. Other children run to him too, skipping down the hills and stomping through the fields. Who are you? Who are you? The children ask. The man says, I am a librarian, a bibliotecario, and these are my burrows. Alpha and Beta, welcome to my biblioteca. My biblioteca. So biblio means book and burrow means donkey. So biblio burrow means book donkeys, which must mean like a library being carried by donkeys. So look at them sitting under the tree. But Senor Anna says, I thought libraries were only in big cities and buildings. Not this one, said the librarian. This is a moving library. Then he spreads out his books and invites the children to join him under a tree. And he pulls out a book. Once upon a time, the librarian begins, sharing the story of an elephant who swings from a spider's web. 
He reads from the books with beautiful pictures, then helps the little ones learn their abecedario. He sings A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Finally, he says, now it's your turn. Pick out books, and in a few weeks, I will be back to collect them and bring you new ones. Me too, asks Anna. Especially you, says the librarian with a smile. <gasps> so many cuentos, and that means stories, right? While Alpha and Beta chomp the sweet grass under the tree, Anna picks up book after book and finds pink dolphins and blue butterflies, castles and fairies, talking lions and magic carpets. <gasps> she has new stories that take her all sorts of places. Somebody should write a story about your burrows, Anna tells the librarian rubbing Alpha's nose and feeding more grass to Beto. Why don't you, he asks. Then he packs up the books and is off. Enjoy, he calls to the children. I will be back. So each of the children, they have a book to read now and they wave. Anna runs up the hill to her house, hugging the books to her chest. She can't wait to share her books with her brother. And that night, she reads until she can't keep her eyes open any longer. Each morning, Anna does her chores and reads and looks out the window. She listens for the sounds of Alpha and Beto. But weeks pass and the librarian doesn't return. Will, when will he come back? She asks her mother, who smiles and says, Go read, Anna. When will he come back? She asks her mother, who says, Go draw, Anna. When will he come back? She asks her mother, who says, Go write, Anna. When will he come back? She asks her mother, who finally says, go to bed, Anna. One night, Anna dreams she is flying over her country on a butterfly's back. In her dream, she crosses mountains and oceans and rivers and jungles, bringing stories everywhere she goes. Stories fly from her mouth and fingers like magic. <gasps> falling into the hands of the children waiting below. Look at the books. They're like their own little butterflies. When Anna wakes up, she misses Alpha and Beto and the Biblio Burroughs books. She remembers that the librarian told her that she could write a book. And so, with paper and string and coloring pencils, she does. Finally, just when Anna thinks she'll never see the Biblio Burrow again, she wakes up to a meow, meow, and children yelling. She runs down the hill with her library books and a special surprise of her very own. I wrote this cuento for you, she says. Que bueno, the librarian says. And he reads her story to the children under the tree. When it's time to go, Anna's book is packed carefully in the burrow's back, ready to be carried away over the hills and through the fields to another child who is asleep in bed in a house on a hill behind a tree, dreaming of Alpha and Beto and all the new stories the Biblio Burrow will bring. And that is the end of our book over here.
here. So um, this over here is actually based on a true story um, and it takes place in Colombia where there's a teacher that delivers children books who live in remote villages. And this teacher's name is Luis Riano Bojoquez. And it's pretty amazing what he does because he allows children like Anna and all these children access to so many stories where they can build their imagination. Um, and yeah, this is a really amazing book over here. And there's actually a glossary of Spanish terms at the back. So um, we learn some words like cuento and burrow and uh, biblioteca in this book. And you can look at the Spanish terms if you have this and learn some Spanish while you're at it. Thank you so much for reading this with me. This was called Waiting for the Biblio Burrow by Monica Brown and John Parra. Thank you.